Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a vlog. I had filmed a whole intro to this video, but the technology gods were against me. Today you are joining me for a private beauty event, a private shopping event at Holt Renfrew. And I started off by showing you my, my outfit, of course. How can we do a vlog without an outfit check? So uh, prepare to join me as my companion and my guest for this private shopping event. I'm working on this little corner here in my office to possibly do a little bit more fashion on my channel. Not a lot, but just to sort of show you my looks and things like that. So that's what I'm working with here. Uh, please uh, just ignore the piles of bags behind. This is the beauty hall. This was the private shopping event. It was massive, actually. There was a DJ, the DJ was great. There were drinks, there was champagne, there were cocktails. I took advantage of this little area here to do a little um, fashion show, do some poses. Thank you to the strangers who took the photos for me. It was a nice backdrop and you're able to see my outfit in full. So yeah, like I stated, uh, this event was massive. There was a whole sushi bar at the YSL counter. So uh, yeah, that's this here in effect. And there was a lot of food. There, were, there was a whole oyster bar. I'm not into oysters, but other people are. And at some point someone brought out um, dry ice, which, you know, I have to say was pretty cool for the video. It makes a pretty cool uh, visual. There was also a sweets bar. This was chocolate bark with toppings. And then here is the rosé. There was rosé, there was champagne. Back to the YSL counter. I saw this new YSL uh, Libre perfume. I think it's called like Platinum or something. It wasn't for me, but I like the other versions better. I am so happy to see the Givenchy Prism Libre loose powder blushes because they've been so hard to get here in North America, but we have them here and I was just like being OCD and just organizing the blushes in order. It just looks so much more aesthetic, you know, having everything lined up perfectly like that. And then there was a makeup artist uh, at the store. I think her name was Veronique. Not Veronique, it's Virginie. Virginie Vandelac. She's a makeup artist here in Montreal. She's worked on TV shows and sets and now she's more of a beauty educator. She has her own institute and she was there at Holtz just sort of doing touch-ups and focusing on a couple different products. She used a lot of Byredo products, which I, you know, I don't really know Byredo very much, but she was using it on me and just talking through different products, which is always fun just to pick someone else's brain and, you know, see what they have to say. She used this multi-color stick or multi-use stick, I should say, in the shade Cleopatra that you can use on the eyes, on the lips. And it has this like interesting blue shade, blue shift with a brown base. It's quite interesting. It was a bit glossy too. But anyway, I made my, my way over to the actual Byredo counter afterwards. And then I tried out some perfume. I think this is Bal d'Afrique that they're spraying on me. It smelled really nice. It almost had like a leather note or something on it, but uh, it was so, sort of light at the same time, which was uh, nice and refreshing. And then of course I had to look at Byredo Beauty too, which again is not something that I'm that familiar with, but it was fun to try, you know, just to swatch around. Obviously the blues and the pinks and the bright colors caught my eye, but I saw this one palette here. I think it was called like corporate something, something corporate, which indicates that you can wear this one, you know, for a more corporate office setting. I made my way over to Tom Ford, of course, and I smelled this cafe rose perfume. Oh my goodness. It smelled so good. It was amazing. I don't even know how to describe it other than just extremely decadent and rich. It smells amazing. 
I don't know. I think it might be very strong on me. It's like coffee and rose, like lots of rose, but light rose. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I should spritz it on me to see. I think it would definitely would be very heavy. And then I made my way, my way over to Chanel, of course. So every counter at the event had their own thing going on. Every counter had different makeup artists or you know different people from different specialities at their counter. And even though this was a private shopping event, it was packed. It was packed. It, there were so many people. I actually bumped into two subscribers. Uh, it was a, a packed night. And I saw this display here from Chanel matching the nail polish to the perfume very cutesy very cute i hadn't thought of matching my nail polish to my perfume but now i have ideas and of course we have the whole or not the holiday my goodness the fall collections out on display and the whole night i just kept circulating back and forth going from one counter to the next just to see what they had who they had there what they were doing for touch-ups and full makeup applications but then I made my way over to La Mer. Ugh, La, La Mer. I tried some of their products a few months ago. Unfortunately for me, I really enjoyed them. So I decided to dip into the counter and they had some beautiful little sets available that, you know, are reasonably priced, quote unquote, for La Mer. And so I did end up getting one of their travel sets because they're just great for travel and I got a little gift with purchase. So, you know, quote unquote, it was worth it. And I had this beautiful uh, bag to tote around with me. So I had to go back and do another photo shoot with my bag from La Mer, of course, of course. And that was uh, towards the end of my evening. You know, it's tough, you know, shopping for an hour and a half. I was wearing flats, thankfully, but I was pretty pooped by the end of the night. So I made my way downtown and enjoyed some of the sights and the sounds of the city at night. There were snacks and nibbles available at the event, but I kind of wanted real food, you know, like a full meal, and I didn't have dinner before, so I made my way over to Mandy's and tucked into a beautiful salad. I enjoyed it here. It was delicious, and in the background, in the background, I should say, we have my La Mer and a seltzer, and that was my evening. So I don't really have an outro here, but let's just say I had an amazing night. It was really fun. I've never been invited to a private shopping event. I felt very shishi. It was really lovely. It was fun. Um, every counter had hustle and bustle going on. Like every counter had their own flair, their own flavor, makeup artists or experts from the brands in store. It was a lot of fun. I believe that this is their first event like this. They built this beauty hall a few years ago, but then they weren't able to host events for a few years. And so I hope that this is a great sign of things to come. I hope that there are more events like this because I had a good time. I thought it was great. I enjoyed the music, the vibes, the drinks, the food, everything was wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed being my plus one at this exclusive private shopping event and I'll see you next time. Bye.